Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by work done. You should then be able to calculate work done by a force moving an object. I'm showing you here a man pushing a box along the floor. The box is travelling at a constant velocity. The man's applying a forward force to the box, but the force of friction is acting between the bottom of the box and the floor. This friction causes the temperature of the box to increase. As you can see, the chemical energy store in the man's muscles has been transferred to the thermal energy store of the box. Now, whenever a force is used to move an object, energy is transferred. Scientists call this work, and we calculate work using this equation. Work done in joules equals the force in newtons multiplied by the distance in meters. And a key point is that the distance must be in the line of action of the force, and we're going to see what that means later. Now you're not given this equation in the exam, so you do need to learn it. Remember that work is simply a measure of energy transfer. So the unit of work is the joule. When a force of one newton moves an object by one meter, then one joule of work is done. Now scientists also use the unit newton meter. And remember that one newton meter of work equals one joule. Going back to our example, the man's applying a force of 20 newtons to move the box by 2 metres. I'd like you to calculate the work done, so pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, remember that work done equals the force multiplied by the distance. In this case, the force is 20 newtons and the distance is 2 metres. Multiplying these together gives us a work done of 40 joules or 40 newton metres. Here's another example. This shows a car travelling with a velocity of 20 metres per second. The driver applies the brakes and the car comes to a stop. So what happens when the car brakes? You need to remember that a moving object has a kinetic energy store. This shows the brakes of a car. During braking, the brake presses against the wheel like this. The force of friction now acts between the brake and the wheel. The kinetic energy store of the car is transferred to the thermal energy store of the brakes. So the temperature of the brakes increases. And at the same time, the car slows down as it loses kinetic energy. So here's a question for you to try. During braking, a force of 3,000 newtons is applied to the brakes of a car. The car takes 15 meters to come to a stop. Calculate the work done. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the work done equals the force multiplied by the distance. Multiplying 3,000 newtons by 15 meters gives us a work done of 45,000 joules or 45,000 newton meters. We're going to look now at one final example. This shows a person walking up a flight of stairs. We're going to look at the work done in this case. Now this person's moving upwards. In other words, they're moving against the force of gravity. Remember that the force of gravity acting on a person is their weight. So I'm showing their weight here. Imagine that the person has a weight of 600 newtons. At the top of the stairs, the person's moved a vertical distance of 5 metres. The work done in this case is 600 newtons multiplied by 5 metres. This gives us a value for the work done of 3,000 joules, or 3,000 newton metres. Now this brings us to a key point. Remember that the distance must be in the line of action of the force. Because weight is acting vertically downwards, only the vertical distance is relevant in this example. In this case, the person's chemical energy store has been transferred to the gravitational potential energy store. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on work done in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 